Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about Sucre, the man and the money, as well as the Ecuadorian coat of arms. Sucre was born into a wealthy family in 1795 in Cumana, then part of the Captaincy General of Venezuela. From the age of 15, he was a part of the independence movement sweeping South America. Before his 30th birthday, he was considered Simón Bolívar's most loyal and trusted lieutenant. In 1820, he was entrusted by Bolívar with drafting the Armistice of Trujillo, a precursor to the Geneva Conventions. In 1822, he won the Battle of Pichincha, securing the independence of Ecuador, and in 1824, he won the Battle of Ayacucho, capturing the last Viceroy of Peru and guaranteeing the independence of both Peru and Bolivia. In 1830, he was assassinated by political rivals to prevent him from becoming the leader of Gran Colombia after Bolivar's impending death. He was ambushed on a road returning to his home in Quito. Today, his legacy lives on across South America with monuments throughout the continent. One of Bolivia's capitals is named in his honor and the currency of Ecuador from 1884 to 2000 was given his name as well. The Sucre replaced the peso in 1884 after the president allowed foreign currency of 50% silver to circulate, forcing the 90% silver peso coins out of circulation. Unfortunately, due to poor financial stewardship, the life of the Sucre was tumultuous until a central bank was established in 1927, setting the value of the Sucre to 20 U.S. cents. The currency stabilized through most of the 20th century, but a confluence of problems came to a head in the 1990s that presaged the end of the Sucre. Ecuador's economy at that time was built on oil and agricultural exports. Asian economic crises pushed the price of oil down, and the El Nino weather phenomenon reduced agricultural output. As public debt surged, regulation of private banks was negligible, and in 1998 the banks began to fail. Soon, the government wasn't able to bail them out. In 1999, a law imposing a 1% tax on all financial transactions backfired on the government. Instead of discouraging cash withdrawals and bolstering the national coffers, people withdrew more money and stopped spending it. In January of 2000, Ecuador defaulted on its foreign debts and declared the U.S. dollar its official currency. The sucre could be exchanged for dollars at a rate of 25,000 to 1. The public was so upset by this that before the month was over, the president was forced from office in a military coup. The front of the note is covered in guillos with microprinting that says Banco Central del Ecuador. In the center is an engraving of Sucre. The engraving is based off of a portrait of Sucre by Arturo Michelena, one of 19th century Venezuela's most renowned painters. On the reverse is more guillotine and microprinting, with an engraving of Ecuador's coat of arms in the center. The mountain in the arms is Mount Chimborazo, the highest in Ecuador, and the river is Rio Guayas. The ship is also named Guayas, and on its deck is a caduceus representing trade and commerce. The sun is the Incan sun god Enti. The astrological signs for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer represent the duration of the revolution in 1845 that lasted from March to July. Above the shield is a condor, symbolic of power. Below the shield is a fasces, representing Republican government. To the sides are four Ecuadorian flags. The laurel represents victory, and the palm leaf represents those who gave their life for Ecuador. At the time the sucre was demonetized, the exchange rate to dollars was fixed at 25,000 to 1, making this note worth two ten thousandths of a dollar, or two hundredths of a cent. They can be found on eBay for anywhere between $1 and $10, depending on the condition. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? Since independence, Ecuador has used three names for its currency, the peso, the sucre, and one other. What is the name of this other currency? If you think you know, let me know in the comments. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any Ecuadorian currency in your collection? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.